Making sense of determiners in English. Hello language enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore a fundamental part of English grammar, determiners. If you've been scratching your head wondering what determiners are, you're in the right place. So, let's demystify these little grammar heroes together. Determiners are words placed in front of a noun to clarify what the noun refers to. They help us understand the quantity, proximity, definiteness, and possession of the noun. Determiners include articles, a, n, the, demonstratives, this, that, these, those, possessives, my, your, his, her, its, are, their, and quantifiers, some, many, few, all, several, etc. For example, in the sentence, I have two apples, two, is a determiner because it tells us the quantity of apples. Determiners can be grouped into various categories. 1. Articles. These are the most common determiners. They include a, in, and the, Two, demonstratives. These indicate where something is in relation to the speaker. They include this, that, these, and those. Three, possessives. These indicate ownership. They include my, your, his, her, its, are, their. Four, quantifiers. These tell us about the quantity of the noun. They include some, many, few, all, several, among others. The choice of determiner largely depends on the noun that it modifies. Remember, articles are used with singular, countable nouns. Demonstratives are usually used when the noun's location or number is clear to the speaker. Possessives are used when the noun belongs to someone or something. Lastly, quantifiers are used to express the quantity or amount of the noun. Here are some examples. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Article. Can you pass me those books? Demonstrative. Your dress is lovely. Possessive. I have some work to finish. Quantifier. And there you have it an introduction to determiners in English. These little words play a significant role in our language, helping to make our sentences clear and specific. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, try to use different determiners in your daily conversations and written English. We hope this video helped clarify the concept of determiners for you. Keep practicing, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy learning!